training yourself to take a normal grip, normal setup, and then just before I swing, I could be standing a little open if I want to, and just before I swing, I'm just going to take my hands and turn them back and just lay that sweet spot back a little, and then I'm going to bring that club out and then cut it with my body as I completely ignore the club face. So I open the face slightly by turning my hands, I'm bringing it out on the back swing, and then I'm opening my body and cutting it with my body as I ignore my hands and let my arms just fold. A good image for you to understand cutting it, what I mean by cutting it with your body, is picture the club face being right in the center of your stomach. Right in the center of your stomach, you're going to make a back swing, and then picture you have no arms, you have this club face in the center of the stomach that's extended out, and you're going to use your body to try to get that club face to work the ball and cut it off the ground. It's a great image for sand shots also. Picture a club face in the center of your stomach and try to work that ball off the ground by using your body pivot and not just by using your arms. So I'm going to turn the face and lay it back and do my explosive pitch shot and cut it with my body and ignore the club face. So I completely ignore the club face. When I'm trying to do these short side shots, I'm making sure that my club is moving faster than the ball is going to leave. So after contact, I feel like my club is moving faster than the ball, and I feel like my body is moving faster than the club. So my body's moving the fastest, then the club, and the ball is the last thing to leave. 